There's nothing worse than a weird error that you get on some clients and and some Office 365 instances and others you do not. So let's go ahead and jump into this error, which happens to be a multi-line, a multiple line field or column that gets an error based on 255 characters, which it should not. And two out of three of the Office 365 environments that I personally have tested this on, two of the three fail, but one does not fail. And that's the more troubling one because now I don't have a consistent result. So let's work through this together. I'm gonna to show you how to remediate this error as well. So stay tuned, we're gonna jump right into this. So here is the error, as you can see here in illustration 713.29. This is the error. So if you've ever received this error, it indicates to you that you have a maximum length of 255 that you can put into a SharePoint field. Here, well, we'll explain the spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and go down here. This is the, or our list, excuse me, it's not a spreadsheet. So this is the list, the collection list. We're pulling data from Teams chats actually and see other videos on that but we're pulling teams chat data and we're dumping it into sharepoint so that we can do reports and analysis on that information and you see here we have four fields user content team description and the create date not the creation date which is also a field right here created we're, we built an, a different field called create date okay so here um, well, notice that this is multiple lines of text content multiple lines means there's no limit but with that field we're still getting this error which indicates that this would be a single um, text field a single line of text but anyways so how do we fix that so let's dive into the power automate script here and I'm going to show this to you real quick here let's go over to power automate and take a look at this so here we have, this is the Teams channel information that's coming in. We've initialized a variable within this flow as well. Basically what we're doing is we're saying, pull this Teams general channel and let's give that team a name, just a random name that we're gonna plug in because we're gonna do multiple of these flows to collect information for multiple channels and we can name them all easily. We're gonna convert that information into HTML Okay, and then we're going to do the create item. So we're taking this information from Teams, converting it via HTML, and then we're gonna create an item. And we're gonna create an item in a list. Okay, so we just, all we have to do is choose the side of the list, the address, and then what the list name is. And then we plug in the information here, right? User content, everything that you saw on the past document. The challenge comes in, is this content, although it's right here, HTML to text, that's it right there. It's plain text that we've converted, still gives us this error. Whoops, this error right here. So how do we fix it? All right, so that's the problem, and that's, that's what we've done. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go to your actual list, and you wanna check to make sure that that list itself is in good shape and you have the right type of field. So here we've gone over to SharePoint. I'm in my personal group. I've gone to the record. The, it's called chat record. And notice here, I just have two fields, right? Here are, excuse me, I have these four fields right here. All right, I'm gonna go to site contents right there. I'm gonna go down to chat record. I'm gonna say settings. And we'll go down and look at that field content. Now see, it says multiple lines of text. We're in good shape, but let's just go ahead and check. Multiple lines of text. We're gonna see six lines for editing, plain text, that's it. So this all looks good. It looks exactly what we see here on this chart as well. So it looks like we're in good shape from a configuration of that list itself. Now, just as a side note, I have tried to remediate this error by changing to rich text, enhance check, append text, the same error comes up, it's very consistent. So um, you could try it as well. Every system apparently is a little bit different, but um, uh, it shouldn't work, it shouldn't work. All right, so let's go back to that column. We're gonna edit it if we wanna remove and re-add the field. So that's kind of the first step here is you can remove the field itself 
and kind of start over if you want. And remember to do that, we just go here, we go boop, we hit edit, and we hit delete. And then to re-add the field, we go here, we say multiple line of text, we name it, and we hit save. That's how we add and delete records from there. And I've gone ahead and explained that here. So you edit, content, delete, delete, and then add a column, multiple lines of text, create it, save. Okay, so you can do that, rerun your flow, and see if that works. That did not work for me. Um, it only worked one out of three times, okay? But you can try it. Here's the second step, and this step really isn't that much more complex. We're gonna add a compose action. So here, I'm just gonna review it real quick, then we're gonna do it together on Power Automate. We're gonna add an action here called Compose, and we're gonna click in here, we're gonna say, give us the plain text representing the message body. Remember, this is from Teams, and I'm gonna hit Save. That's it. And that's all I literally have to do to fix the problem. Well, let me put it this way. It fixed the problem for me on multiple sites. So hopefully it will fix your problems as well. So let's go ahead and do that together. So here we just go, now we're plugging this in, this Compose, right? We could plug it in up here. I just put it in right below the variable that I've initiated, and I'm just gonna click on there. I'm gonna type in, oops, compose. Okay, I'm gonna hit go. I'm gonna click here, and then it's gonna list for me all of the items. Remember, I've got the information here, the collection, so I see right here when a channel message has been added, and it gives me all of this data. The data that we want is right there at the top, plain text representation of the content of the message. We're just gonna click on that, and then um, and then that is literally all that you have to do. This will still work the same way. It's gonna convert this. If you do not have the HTML to text in there, you're gonna get HTML characters in your output, in your email message, you don't want that. And then uh, the create item is gonna work exactly the same. Remember in the create item on this one, um, remember, that this is the text right here from this conversion, right? Notice the icons, they're the same. This is the HTML. So what we've done is we've gone through here, taken the data from Teams, initialized the variable, which is right here called company name. We've done a compose to convert that, that information to plain text. We've converted it again here to the HTML component. So we've moved it into plain text and then we've taken the HTML and converted it into text, right? Which is right here, the plain text here. And then uh, we create the item. And the item seems to work every single time. So, um, so if you want to take care of this problem, uh, it works very well. Let's go ahead and just test it real quick. We'll put in something over uh, 255 characters and we'll see how it works. So I've gone ahead and and um, getting ready to hit post on this email message, but um, excuse me on this text. So we're just going to hit here test and say manual, and then we're going to test. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and go back over to here, and we're going to hit go. And it's it's posted the message. So let's go back over here, and it looks like it's running. Going down through, we just want it to uh, give us green check marks. Sure enough, we got the green check marks. Now let's go ahead and go over to our list and see how that looks. Of course, we need to refresh that list. And there we go. There's the data itself. Now, um, notice that there's no HTML characters. This came over from my variable that I put in. This is the date uh, that it was added. If I open this up, you can see there's plenty of characters inside of there. Everything works exactly as planned.